rise and shine, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft with Kane and Crew. Today, we gotta go down under, and that's gonna be a great, great way to set off the treasure room, so let's dig that out. Quick montage right away. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna have you watch the whole digging out and process of that down there. So instead, why don't I show you? Ta-da! We got a wall idea. That's gonna be fantastic. We got this up here, which I think is pretty cool. I think it really sets off like it's holding this up. And it's, it's just that all the way around. Now I have this down here. Because this is all gonna get covered eventually anyway. This is going to be our treasure mound pit. Where they throw all their stuff down and the treasure goes down there. And it's going to be good. It's going to be a fantastic, I guess we could say. So I have all our resources right here that we should need. Little bits and pieces of wool that I quick dyed. And some other cool things that we can throw into this huge pit. So, why don't we get started? We'll throw some gold down on top in random places. We don't want to use gold, but we still want it to keep it yellow. Can we add a little bit of this? Maybe blue one there. And we'll pretend like the red is apples. Maybe they're throwing apples down. Where's that magenta at? Or purple or whatever it is. Maybe a wild berry. Something like that. And then, yeah, majority of this I want yellow. But if it's not, it's fine. If we do that, we'll take this on out. Take that gold back. And we're just going to just randomly disperse all these materials. So that it looks like a huge... Um, well, it looks like a huge place that just... Random stuff was thrown in, and it slowly piled up, and the king is just getting more and more pleased, and he's getting happier with the people, the little town and stuff like that. I I don't know. You just want a nice disbursement. So when you look in here, yeah, there's too much wool. When you look in here, you see, wow, that's a lot of resources. Maybe I want to jump down there. But nobody's allowed into the pit. And that's why there's precautions. There's precautions like the door right there is so the guards can come in and fish people out or people that do fall in can get out, but they have to be escorted through guard and questioned by the king on why they went down there in the first place. Stuff like that. Ooh. Now that I see the yellow wool, I don't actually like it. But we will keep going until it works. We'll make it work. Get rid of these. That in there, that, that. And that. And 
And honestly, I think I didn't grab enough like treasure blocks and like stuff like this. I thought it, I grabbed plenty, but I guess we'll keep going and we'll see how it gets. Hmm. Maybe? Grab that wool back. How does this look? Okay. No wool on the top. No wool on the top. We'll keep it on the sides. That's got to be gold. Because when, when you first initially look down, it's all got to be gold. Just to give it that look. Heck, maybe we'll take this one out. And we'll boost it up one. How does that look, then? I think that looks pretty good. That looks... It's good enough. So now we can come in and add some of this wool. Make it more yellow. Grab my trusty diamond axe. Come in and we'll do... It's more like this. And you guys get the picture. So I'm going to finish this up on my own. And I'll, uh, I'll add to that and do that all later. I think all these blocks will fit and work. So that's good. So now what we gotta do... We gotta lay this out. And then, yeah, something like that. I think that looks good. We're going to keep going with that wall style, kind of like that. And we're going to keep wrapping around the room. And I think now is what we got to do. We got to build this kind of doorway. So this is going to be kind of the tough part. I have nothing going down here. And I guess what I can have going down here is this way. So this way branches, and it kind of comes in, and it rounds up or down. We're going to do living quarters, eating quarters, and then down here is going to be also how you get down there. But this is going to be kind of hard to figure out because I have no idea how this is going to work, if it's going to work. So I guess we dig some of it out. And then, I guess the really best way to do this is to go down there, get the coordinates, and just kind of dig down to it. So I am at... Okay, so 189, but I want to go... Like this and have the staircase right here. So I am at... 192. 192. Then that what we do with this is we take this and we take it up. We put it back out. 190, 191, 192. And then we staircase down to it. As simple as that. All right, so while you're doing this stuff, you're going to run into complications. And uh, the staircase ended right here. So now what we have to do is dig this all the way back up, staircase it up. But it's okay because it left it open for a really nice big ceiling for a staircase, I guess. I mean, that's, that's the one positive thing about this. 
a nice big ceiling. Actually, this can stay. And actually, that worked out really well. Okay, no complaints there. Just a tall ceiling. And that's eventually going to get it all worked out with wood and stuff anyway. So why don't we... Cave a little bit of this out. And this is going to be kind of a room. Well, this is a room. And this is going to have, like, iron bars on it and stuff like that. Like, heavily guarded, chained fence or whatever to get out of here. Why don't we have a little jail room down here? Huh? I think that sounds pretty good. A jail room. I like it. So instead of sitting here and watching me mine it all out, like I know you guys would love to do, I'm going to finish up this room quick, and I'm going to have a nice open area here built with the staircase and all that already going up. And I'll be back with you guys once all this is completed. All right, this room looks pretty good. We got a whole bunch. A lot more gold than I intended. It's okay because Racing Turtles helped me out with getting the rest of the gold. So big, big thank you for him. Now we have this area right here that we're going to be putting together. So, I kind of have a rough idea of how I want this to go. But I don't know if I can actually execute it the way I want to. But, psh, come on, it's Kane Crew Gaming. We're going to figure something out. So why don't we do the door here. We'll put our flooring down. Something like that for now. We gotta continue this wall. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Looks a good. So we're gonna do something like this. With... that I don't really want to use wood inside the cell because I know wood you can get out of which would be I don't know not beneficial at all for somebody that you're trying to keep in but we're going to work on that does that look good you come down the steps here Speaking about steps, why don't we put some of those in? So you come down the steps and you got a cell right here. But I'm wondering, these that I put up here. Whoopsie. Maybe. Does that look better? That looks a lot better. I like that. See? All right. So we have the warden's office, and that's the only way you get to this guy. And then what I do is I pick these back up because those are beneficial. We give him a little bit of a nice first class arrangement. Because whatever he did, he's in here for a reason. Oh lord, I did not know this. Okay, I have an idea for this then. We are going to do... Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. So much that we can do. Oh. Why don't we keep that nice? Keep this even. Now we can avert our attention to here. We're going to do that. Oh. oh, no, no, no. We're going to do that. Boom, boom. All 
Um, take you, take you, take you. And you and you. Boom, 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 boom. Uh oh, did I just run out of polished andesite? What I'm going to do is find a way I can get more andesite, because that's kind of important. Maybe I don't use it down here. I see nothing wrong with this block being in. We do something like that. Yeah, something like so. So now he's got a little window to look out of, of light. I believe that's going to be the only window in the whole the uh, whole kingdom, I guess you could say. The whole little chief's area that we're working on. Because really, there is no other way I can incorporate windows in here. Maybe when we get up to like the chief's bedroom and stuff like that, there'll be windows. That's about it. Ceiling can come back into wood. Finish putting this part up. Oh, nope. That's not right. Something like this, right? I mean, I think so. We still have an iron door. We do not have an iron door. We don't have any more iron, which is bad because I spent it all on the project over here. But yeah, this is the good, good just of the idea. I like it. I think it looks spectacular. Look at that. We gotta adjust some of this down here. Make sure this all goes into a nice bigger pattern. I kind of am spacing out stone in here to make it look like it's getting held up. But then, yeah, you're right back to the throne room. So why don't I come back at you guys when I got all that down there figured out and completely done? So, just a little refresher. You come through this nice hallway into the throne room. You bow down before the king, and you throw your goods in there. It's as simple as that. So, you come down here to a finished hallway, and then the eating hall will be down here. Maybe I'll even dig some of this out, even. But you come down here, and you get this. Yeah, I did a little bit more than I probably should have. But you got the huge treasure room. I lit it all up. Like, there's torches every two blocks because I don't want anything happening to that. Like, blowing up creepers from CJ getting stuck down there or something like that. It just, multiple things could happen. So, it's better just to have it lit up. We have little smelting areas because all that stuff didn't just get there on its own. We have a little warden's office. We have a little key holder or whatever. You got a nice little, I guess, yeah, office. Flip this down. And you got... The prisoner's chamber. A little bit of decoration on the wall for him. Not much, though. He can just press those. I had to move this back one to do the idea of having these hold up that bed so it has a floating effect like they do in actual prisons. Maybe a chest for his stuff. Like, maybe maybe they have him play with coal or they make him shape the coal so they can throw it in there and it reduces his sentence a little bit. Something like that. We'll keep him locked up. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good, and I'm really happy with how everything's turning out. This place is going to be one of my biggest projects. Oh, there's nothing in there anymore. I gotta go mining for gold again, iron again, redstone again, you name it. But pretty soon, we'll work on something back here that rounds off to the eating hall, maybe. We'll get the eating hall in, we'll get the living chamber, and then I think we'll call this project done. So expect maybe four more episodes for the chief before we get back into the mountain work and all the other stuff. So without further ado, my name's Kanye Crew and bye bye.